so this is what it feels like to be a rocket grunt, huh? <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition. We've got a full team, we are ready to get through here. I'm so glad I didn't bump into that hiker just now because he's an adult and I can't steal adults Pokemons. I can only steal from old people and children. Does he count as an old person? Whoa, you shocked me! Oh, you're one of them rockets. Yeah, I am. Team Rocket. I hope you don't make me blast off again. He's definitely not an old, an old man, like I thought he was. So, um, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I probably should not have done this. All right, we should get some poison powder on him. That's the first thing that I want to do. Yes, indeed. Tackle is no problem. I can deal with that. Poison powder missed though. Crap. And he's got, like, many Pokemon on this team, so... We're going to have to save Capone for a bit later. And he's going for the defense curls now. I thought maybe he wouldn't, and we could, like, try and wear him down, but... It doesn't seem to be the case. Please defense curl again so I can get a free switch into, um... I guess Bonnie. We split EXP three ways. Ain't no problem. And I forgot to switch the battle style again. Oh my god. It's been on Switch for so long and I just, I just, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I'm so tempted to encore this thing, but I gotta wait until it uses Defense Curl or something like that. So let's go for some stat changing moves just to make this battle slightly easier. Oh, Mud Sport, that's perfect. I'm gonna encore the hell out of that. Yeah, boy. I don't think he can even use it more than once, but Encore don't care. Encore's like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and I don't know if he's going to switch or what's going to happen. He's probably not going to switch. Let's let's be honest with each other. He doesn't even know how to switch. He's like, yeah, once he's out there, he's out there, right? Yeah, sure. That's exactly how this works. All right. I think he's going to go down before the Encore's over. And if that's not the case, I am faster. I could just encore him again. <laughs> encore ended. Oh no. Do, do it some more. I really like it. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. So, is he going to die from that? I think probably. Yeah. Really low level too. Level 5 and he's giving me trouble like that. Hmm. Oh, my favorite Pokemon ever! I'm so sad to kill it. I really wish I could uh, punk this hiker. And be like, yeah, give me a Cubone. Because then, that would be the leader of my team. For the rest of the game. And I would never evolve him either. Because he's cuter this way. Marowak is kind of like, you know, it's Marowak. But Cubone... It's Cubone, bro. How you gonna replace Cubone? I love using this uh, this gif that's like Cubone either playing the drums or bonking Pikachu on the head with this little bone thing. Sick, sick. It's just the best thing ever. Um, Are we gonna split EXP three ways again? I guess I'll go back into Bonnie. Yeah, that should work. Bone Club. Oh, crap. Something told me that I should have gone into... Uh, into Clyde, but I didn't, and you know what? That was a mistake. Use Tail Whip, yeah, that's good. Tail Whip or Growl, so I can just encore you into it, and uh, chill out. Because I don't have any freaking healing items, so I'll be damned if I'm going to run back to the, the Pokemon Center after every fight. Not going to happen. We got to get clever. A little more clever with this. So I don't know if he's going to faint. I guess I'll just pound and like help him along. And he should have one more turn of Encore and he will faint after that. So we can switch into Paris because we're trying to pretend that the battle style is set. <laughs> set instead of switch. Because that's, that's how it would really be. You see, if you're in a Pokemon battle, they're not like, Hey, hey, this one's coming out next. Oh, okay. Let me switch into my... 
into my fucking super effective type against that. Nah, bro. That's for babies. He's got a machop. It's a little bit scary. But we will deal with it. I hope it doesn't have guts or something like that. Increases its attack while it's poisoned. Ooh, scary ability. He goes for low kick. That's fine. It's not gonna do much because one, I resist it, and two, Paris is very light. And low kick is based on weight. So you can go for that. I'll just keep scratching. Hmm. I kind of want to get somebody else in here to like get some EXP. I guess Dahmer. He's poison. He'll resist the low kick. And he's also got Peck. That's super good. Super effective against them fighting types. I think it'll be enough. Take him down. Blech. <laughs> and it crit. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Got him, coach. Level 7. Our, our little team is growing up so fast. Focus energy. I'm happy with that. Alright, alright. Capone already level 9 because he's so freaking useful. Wow, shocked again. That's right. Criminals like you shouldn't be wandering around here in the dark. Is it... is it dark? I hadn't noticed. Battle style set. Yes. Much better. Thank you so, so much. Oh, can't forget this Pokeball. Star piece. Now I can get some money to buy uh, Pokeballs of my very own. If, if I were so interested, but... Why buy Pokeballs when you can buy healing items and just get the Pokemon for free? Right? Duh. Okay. Dahmer's in the front. I guess that makes sense. I also need to get Bonnie some EXP, but we'll wait on it. That's alright. We're almost through Mount Moon here. One revive. I will hold on to this. And how about you, Grunt? I came all the way down here only to get whooped by some little kid trainer. Now I'm too scared to move in case some Zubat swoops in and attacks me. I hate my job. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to battle that guy because you battle him in like every other Fire Red. I do remember him from Mount Moon. And I do remember that the fossils are just around the corner. Just around the corner. So, um, yeah. That'll be mission accomplished. Hopefully I'll get my, my authority leveled up and I can steal from teenagers like lasses. I don't know why. I thought youngster and lass were like the same sort of class. Oh! Dayton, Dayton, I found the super nerd guy. And guess what? He says he's seen some mother flippin' Pokemon fossils. How cool is this? Yeah, I'm gonna need them fossils, bro. Easy now. I've only been able to find these two fossils here, and they're hardly anything to brag about. Frankly, this whole fossil frenzy, frenzy has been blown quite out of proportion, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Dude, Dayton, this is awesome. I told you we were gonna find something, didn't I? <clears throat> Let's not go forgetting who did most of the finding here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Guess who's gonna be the first to report this spectacular finding to Petrolay? Man, I can't wait to see the faces on those wimpy-ass grunts out by the Pokemon Center when they see how I salvaged the mission for all of us. Hang on, that reminds me. Mr. Nerd Guy, did you happen to see some little kid trainer come through here? Someone with spiky hair and a cocky attitude, maybe? Yeah, I did. Funny you'd ask. In fact, he came right through here not too long ago, walking around with his war turtle outside of its Pokeball like some big show-off. I think he's all gone now, though. Anyway, at least he didn't seem to care about the fossils. I just told him I wasn't a trainer and he walked on past. The kid had a war turtle for crying out loud. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess we wouldn't have to worry about him anymore. Still, you never know if some opportunistic little prick could swoop in and ruin my chance for glory while I'm gone. Like me? <laughs> Say, Dayton, how about you stand guard here for a little bit while I go get petrol? I doubt there will be any trouble, so just in case any trainers stroll past here, that includes any of those wussies from upstairs, you better beat the crap out of them and make sure they don't get any of the credit for finding the fossils, okay? Yeah, count on me, bruh. That's the spirit. Be right back. <laughs> Sucker. Give me this. Don't look at me, I didn't sign up for any battling. Then move. Damn, I was gonna swoop it. Swoop it from right under his nose. 
but it seems I can't. It seems there's a cinematic. Oh, shiz. It's red. Oh no, red is my rival? Oh, uh, it's on now. 6v6. Holy crap. This is so unfair. <laughs> I hate what they've done to me here. This is insane. I wonder what happens if you actually beat him. I should do a run where I'm like completely over leveled. It would just take so long to do it. But yeah, nothing that I have stands a chance. I could I could get a hit in, just one. It's probably gonna do one HP damage, but here you go, quick attack. Yeah! I got a hit in! Everybody, let's be happy. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to be a rocket grunt, huh? <laughs> I, I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> I thought I was like s some big badass. And then he comes strolling through here. Just, just. Ah. Uh, on his way to the gym. Excuse me. Excuse me, little grunts. My god. I don't get to see any of the rest of his team. Fart, man. Well. Here's, uh, my, my last two Pokemon, which are extremely weak to fire. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, uh, that sucks. Now I gotta give him all my money. Charmeleon, come back. Hmm. Well, that hurt. <laughs> my soul. Hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine. Hmm. Uh-oh. Scientist getting the crap kicked out of him. Okay, I'll, I'll share. We'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. Hmm. Well, this did not go as planned. Are my, are my Pokemon good? I don't think so. Maybe I can get a revive going? Oh, they are all good. What the hell's going on? Alright, well... Did you see that kid? That was insane! I did. He beat me in half a heartbeat. He didn't say a word, just knocked me straight out. The heck is going on here? Has there been a sudden influx of super strong little kid trainers all of a sudden? Did I miss this? And the fossils too. Oh goodness. Hey, I'm gonna need that fossil though. Damn it, why did I even agree to keep doing these stupid odd jobs for Team Rocket? I knew I should have stayed in the Puner Museum. At least they gave me a steady paycheck to rely on, for Christ's sakes. Well, fossils are gone. Sorry, bro. Guys, guys, you're never gonna believe this! There's another crazy strong little kid trainer walking around somewhere in the cave. They say this one's got a Charmeleon, and that he's a lot stronger, even than the spiky-haired tw- Hang on. Oh, None day! <laughs> Don't tell me. No, it can't be! No, what did you guys do? Where are my goddamn fossils, huh? I swear to God. I'll leave you two alone for just two seconds and you'll mess this whole thing up for me, don't you? Well, I mean, I'd like to see you fend him off. We both tried to fend him off, but he was just way too strong. He kind of just shrugged us off and ran away with both fossils. There's nothing we could do, I swear. Well, now our mission is to get that fossil. Both fossils, did you say? Oh, hi, Petrol. Just in time. Y yes, sir. That's correct. Well then. Hmm. Jesus, Arceus Christ! This is gonna go over well with the boss. The kid. I suppose you got a good look at him. Did you see what kind of Pokemon he used? What kind of clothes he was wearing? Notice any distinguishing characteristics? Yes, sir. Or that is only just barely. He had me on the ground in no time at all, and then he just ran off. That, this pink-haired grunt from... Th this pink-haired grunt here fought him too, though. I don't know if maybe he fared any better. You, what's your name, grunt? Day in? That's right, I remember now. You fought this kid trainer just now, did you? And you remember what he looked like? What Pokemon he used? Yes. 
Good. At least one of you darn grunts proved to be of some use today. We'll have to investigate this matter further. We can't have little kids running around beating the crap out of an entire squad of us and running away. That'll spell the doom for Team Rocket's image. I imagine Boss will want a word with you back at HQ. Hmm, now as regards to your mission... Well, nothing more to be done here. You're all dismissed. Report back to HQ as soon as possible. Well, but, but what about me, Petrol? I found the fossils for you, didn't I? Yeah, and a fat lot of good it did us too, huh? I'll hear no more of it, Grunt. Do as you're told. Now. Well, shame that. Stupid little purple bearded jerk. I'll show him someday. Dream on. Dream on. Why do I even bother? Yeah, me too, bruh. Why do I even bother also? So, uh, where's the boss? There you are, Dayton. Boss would like to see you personally in his office downstairs. You better take the elevator. I expect you to be on your best behavior now. Now, no messing about. Okay. I'm gonna go get to see Giovanni and his Persian. Oh, it's gonna be super cool. Giovanni, he's so super cool. He's on the lowest floor, right? I'm pretty sure. Hey, hey, ho, ho. I'm in here now. Working next to boss makes me feel powerful. Yeah, yeah. Can I go talk to him? You be good now, Grunt. If we find out you've insulted the boss in any way, shape, or form, we'll have you kicked out of Team Rocket before you can say Rattata. Hmm, consider yourself lucky. It's not every day he lets a Grunt enter his office, you know. You better not act stupid now, you hear? I I'll try. Dayton, I presume. Yeah, just come up here by the desk. Now then, let's not waste any time. I heard from Petrol that the fossil excavation mission at Mount Moon was wrecked by the workings of two little kid trainers. Hmm. Now between the fact that Petrol is the weakest of my sorry bunch of rocket admins, and that the mission team consisted of complete and utter rookie grunts, it still boggles my mind to the core how in the deepest depths of Giratina's hell, a pair of preteen twats could beat up an entire squad of full-grown men and run away with the spoils right in front of their goddamn eyes. I mean, for crying out loud, Ariana, little kids. How freaking absurd is this? It's very absurd, Giovanni. Hmm, sigh. Now, having finished berating Petrol for his incompetence, he tells me that you were the grunt standing guard by the fossils. He said you fought the stronger of the twerps and that you maybe even fared better against him than any of the other asshats on your team. Hmm, this is why I've called you in here. I want you to tell me everything you know about this kid. Every little detail, every little minutia that you happen to glean from your battle with him. I want to have this twerp thoroughly profiled so we can see it to it that he'll never dare to mess with Team Rocket again. Let's start with the basics. He had a hat, and a Charmeleon, and that's it. I see. <laughs> Red, huh? What a ridiculous name. Charmeleon, and the other one running around with a war turtle. Why, those are warfare Pokemon for Christ's sakes. What, ki what kids could have access to those? And officially licensed Pokemon trainers, no less. Who could these kids' parents be? I have a bad feeling about these two. This red character especially. We'll have to keep our eyes open if he comes our way again, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Whoever these rich kids are, I swear. They're a dangerous breed. Well, well, I'll get stronger. I don't know what to tell you. Boss, sir, Gym Leader Blaine is here to speak with you. Oh, send him in. You may stay if you want, Dayton. In fact, I'd like you to. Hi, Blaine. Good to see you, bruh. There you are, Blaine. Right here by the desk, if you please. Move over, Dayton. You probably already guessed why I'm here, Giovanni, and you're not gonna like it. I have my suspicions, but I want to hear it from your own little chicken mouth all the same. Ah, <sighs> I can't keep making it any more Porygon for you. I'm really sorry about it, Giovanni, but I can't. You're a filthy coward, Blaine. Listen now. Fuji knows all you guys have been up to doing Fuji knows all you guys have been doing up in the Pokemon Tower, and he's gone into a crazy fit over it. 
Just yesterday, he sent an angry email to all of his old colleagues at the Pokemon Lab, warning them that, I quote, Team Rocket is up to no good. They've got spies all over and they're ruthless. Be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. You know as well as me, Giovanni, that the source code for Porygon is copyrighted by Silphco. If I'm caught making them in the lab, it's all over for me. You know, I'll always support whatever you guys are doing here, but I'm not going to risk my position as a gym leader for Team Rocket, alright? I'll have to lay low for a while. Now oh, damn you, Blaine. Do you even realize what a major source of revenue Porygon is for our game corner? Players just won't want to gamble as much if they don't have the prospect of winning one dangled in front of them. Christ. And where else do you suggest we get our Porygon supply? At the Pokemart? It's only a handful of scientists in Kanto who'd be willing or even able to make the things, let alone help us distribute them illegally. Well, you were lucky to have Blaine in your pocket for that long then, I guess. Maybe. Look, it's been over a decade. I know you're not keen on the idea, but how about we see if maybe Professor Oak would be willing to help? No! I will never deal with that filthy traitor. Never. Do you hear me? I want nothing to do with that spineless dimwit of a professor. And you should know better than to suggest it. Whoa. Some bad blood. Alright, forget it. Ah, <sighs> well then. I suggest you talk to Bill about it. He's an unpredictable kid, but he's smart. And I bet you anything, he nicked himself a copy of the Porygon from me, or from Fuji back in the day. He should be more than apt for the job. Hmm. Well, I don't suppose we have much of a choice. Bill has done a couple of smaller tech-related jobs for us in the past, but he's a fickle kid, and I don't like him. Plus, he always demands ridiculous compensation for everything he does, the rascal. But, seeing as he's our only hope right now, I suppose he'll do. Hmm, I'm, I'm not letting you off the hook for now, Blaine, for old time's sake. Oh, I am letting you off the hook. But if you hinder Team Rocket's operations again, well, you're not going to get a favorable outcome. Is that clear? Get you a pair of cement shoes, Blaine. I expect you to be back making Porygon for us once, once this whole Fuji business blows over. Yes, Giovanni, thank you. Hmm... Blaine is in Giovanni's pocket. The plot thickens. Dayton, over here. I have a new mission for you. Here's what I want you to do now. Listen carefully. You're gonna go to Bill's house, just north of Cerulean. You're gonna offer him a job, on behalf of Team Rocket, as a temporary manufacturer of Porygon. If he says no, tell him that we'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Tell him he can name any price or service he likes within reason. Another squad of grunts should be headed for Cerulean on another mission right now as well. I suggest you rendezvous with them in the secret rocket base we've stationed just south of the city. The rocket admin there should be able to give you a few rare items to tempt Bill with as well. Hmm, is that clear? On, off with you then. I'm counting on you, Dayton. Gee, well, he's counting on me? Gosh. Don't go thinking you're special now just because you get missions from Boss, alright? You better not disappoint Boss now, you hear? And I won't. I'm gonna be the best Team Rocket grunt ever! Dang. I I'm really liking this. It's got a lot of plot. And that's tasty to me. But anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It ran a little long due to a cutscene, but I guess that's alright. I hope that you'll also check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and a big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon as well. We are off to Cerulean City to visit Bill in the next episode, and I hope that you shall join me for it. So until then, friends, bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.